Hello and um, welcome to another intriguing of a mother's burden. My name is Omolola Adekoya and um, I I don't know where to start from but I did receive a text message in the course of the last week and that text message really got me thinking and of course I received you know um, comments and um, so much subscription this time around and i really appreciate that however uh, today we will continue with our discussion and remember we're talking about the value of love and i have been picking up you know some vital points of what love is and what love is not one of the comments i received in the past few weeks that i promised last week that i was going to share is that somebody said that Val love is not just a value but it is a way of life that we have to choose to live and that's really it's it means a lot to me it's a way of life i mean come on it's a way to show that we are mature apart from the fact that we are kingdom citizens it's a way to show that yes i understand life and i'm ready and willing to live life as i should you know and um Last week, I got a question that I wouldn't say I wasn't expecting the question, but it's, I don't know. I had to share with my friend and it really took us time to think of it and to, you know, eventually I was able to come up with an, I think, an answer. And the lady asked, she said, how do we as women hurt ourselves? You, if you remember last week, I talked about um, women um, living up to expectations. That it has to start with us and not hurting ourselves. And then she asked, how do we hurt ourselves? It really took me time because I had to sit back. I had to think about this. And to tell you sincerely, it wasn't easy coming up with this. But I hope so many people out there will agree with me. And if you have another opinion, please feel free to send me a text message. Subscribe and leave a message in um, the comment box. And be sure I will respond to your message as soon as I get it. And uh, after much deliberation and much thinking about this question how do we hurt ourselves as women i come to realize that as a mother as a young girl that grew up into a young woman and eventually got married a lot of us has gone through a lot of issues you know a lot of us has been hurt in so many ways some of us were abused some of us were neglected some of us were um, we felt that we were um, cheated, you know, that we were exploited, you know, and we carry on this grudge. We carry on this grudge even onto our adulthood, even onto our um, motherhood, even onto now, you know, it's a I, I perfectly understand how it feels to be abused, to be neglected or um, exploited. I, I perfectly understand how it feels to be. But at the same time, that is not who we are. Now, most of us will say, look, you don't understand what um, growing up was for me. I was abused. I was physically, um, socially, emotionally even spiritually abused, you know, but then, like I said earlier on, love is a, a life we must choose to live. If we love, we should learn to forgive ourselves and not only ourselves, we should learn to forgive the people that we thought hurt us in any way. You know, so many times we feel like because this person hurt me, I will never forget. I will never forgive. Hey, every day we hurt someone. Every day we say something we're not supposed to say. But life continues. We never see it like that. 
we have to move on. We are hurting ourselves if we are holding on to grudges. We are hurting ourselves if we pretend that everything is fine, whereas everything is not fine. We are hurting ourselves if we choose to focus all the attention on our children, even if our husbands hurt us, even if we've been neglected or abandoned by our husbands. Hey, learn to forgive yourself. Forgive that person and move on with life. That is not the end of life. You know, we hurt ourselves when we pretend that everything is fine. I am in control. I am in charge, you know. And then we secretly go behind and start like crying and thinking, what would I have done to make it different, you know. But in the actual sense of it, in the actual sense of it, if we are chosen a life of love, if we have chosen to love ourselves, we will overcome this hurt. We hurt ourselves, I will repeat again, when we pretend that everything is okay, whereas it's not okay. We hurt ourselves when we carry grudges from our childhood onto our adulthood and motherhood. And you know, like I always said, it's so easy for people to read us. No matter how much you pretend or hide that everything is okay, no, it's not okay. People can easily read us. People can easily say that, hmm, something is not right with this person. You know, so I want us, like I said last week, and I'm going to repeat it again, it starts with me as a mother. It starts with you as a father and as a mother as well. To look at yourself, in what way have I been hurt? In what way do I feel abandoned? Do I feel exploited? Do I feel used? Do I feel neglected? Do I feel abused? It could be in any form. We have to learn to move past that stage. We have to learn to look inward and forgive ourselves. Now, when we are able to forgive ourselves, look, it is so easy. When you forgive yourself, you radiate love. Like I've always said, it's an aura that we put out there. The energy we put out there. If we harbor unforgiveness, it makes us kind of have a low self-esteem. I would think, you might disagree with me, but I think if we harbor unforgiveness, if we harbor hurt, you pretend that everything is fine, whereas everything is not fine. It makes us have a form of low self-esteem and then we always want to be on the defensive, you know, instead of trying to, re to be reasonable, to try and listen, to understand the other person, we always want to be on the defensive. We always want to, like, you know, any small thing will snap at it. We always tend to think people want to take advantage of us. And that is because we have not healed from our past hurt. And the only way, sincerely, that I think, it's my opinion, we can heal from our past hurt is when we learn to move on from the past hurt. And forgive whoever hurt us or whoever we think we have hurt or even forgive ourselves. It is very important that we forgive ourselves. It is very important that we forgive any other person that have hurt us or that we think hurt us in one way or the other. And it is very, very important for us, you know, to look ahead and embrace love. Because when we embrace love, it will be very easy to forgive and love the other person. And that was why I said last week that it starts with you and me. If I don't show love, if I don't show that I accept myself and I accept the other person, it will not be easy for me to forgive. It will not be easy for me to accept the other person. It will be difficult for me to show high self-esteem. It will be difficult for me to be confident in myself because if I'm still holding on to the grudges of the past, Hey, mothers, fathers, our children are watching us. We are their first test book. We are their television. They see us every day. So when you pretend, the children know you are pretending. And a child that pretends does not have a good self-esteem, does not have confidence in himself. Because that child, you and I know that when you pretend, you're not being yourself. 
you are being someone that you are not. Now, when that pretense is ripped off, who are you? Who are you? So please, let us go with that in this week, for the rest of this week. Cut off the pretense. Learn to speak out. Look for someone you can trust. Could be your pastor. Could be a friend. Could be God. You can go on your knees and tell it to God. And I am telling you, you will never be disappointed. By the time you finish telling it to God and you stand up on your knees, you will be refreshed because he, you will have a reason, I'm telling you, to want to move on with life. Please, I, I don't know whatever area you're hurting. It might be an abuse, a neglect, exploitation from the past that you're carrying into your present life. Please, Move on with it because that will not help you to teach your children the right value. Remember, we're talking about raising multicultural children. The average child in America is very confident. You want, to, you want your child to continue to be confident. You know, you don't want a child with low self-esteem. You don't want a child that does not know who he or she is. You want to bring up a child that knows that, look, this is who I am. It's either you accept me for who I am or not. And that is what I hope that we will be. I hope that we, even as mothers, accept ourselves. Even as fathers, I hope we accept ourselves and move on with life. Until I see you same time next week. I remain Omolola Adekoya. And once again, thank you so much for all the comments, for all the remarks. I really appreciate this and for the text message. Next week, I will be talking about raising confidence in children or instilling confidence in children. That's part of the question that the lady asked. And I hope this week I've been able to answer a question. But if not, I am hoping to comment. I am hoping to criticism. And I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you and have a beautiful week ahead. Bye.